Yes, here we are, back in the garage. My battery dead again. I'm really good at not charging my battery. It's a skill I have. Let's see, is this charged? 18%, hey, that's better than nothing. Uh, so yeah, it's Sunday morning. We have a lot going on today. Uh, Carrie and Dawn are still here. They're in bed right now. Uh, it's early, so I'm just trying to get everything prepped. We're going to the swap -arama tomorrow, Monday. So when you watch this, if I get it done in time, we should be at the swap -arama if all went well. Uh, I think I have time to finish this, so that's good. I did get a handful of orders that I'm going to pull. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put them, though, because it's kind of mayhem in here. We went to the flea market yesterday, and uh, Dawn bought all these bags of goodies, and she's been, like, washing them. She's been, like, washing them and going through them and seeing, like, what kind of stuff she has. A lot of cool stuff, though. Definitely a lot of cool stuff. She's got, like, the old McDonald's Transformer thingies, Fry Guys or whatever. She found some Mighty Max figures. Mighty Max is, like, Polly Pocket back in the 90s, except it's, like, the, the boy version or whatever. We packed up all our Whatnot auctions from our big Whatnot show. We streamed the Whatnot show on this channel. I don't usually leave those live at after the event because they just kind of they're not great for the channel to leave long lives up there so that was fun the auction went really well we had a lot of fun you know it's half my items half don carries some callie's item callie was trying to save up for nintendo switch and people actually were super supportive and tipped a bunch to callie so thank you guys who helped callie with that and callie did earn everything she needed to go ahead and get that so she is over the moon excited so those who were there supporting her i do appreciate that she does too uh, but yeah it was fun it was fun these i got these giant scary things flaming black widow they weren't in as great condition as i expected they were like a little worn but hopefully they still sell because here's the thing if those little they're spirit halloween display items and if they're in good shape like new or better or well not new not new or better but very good or new they sell for like four to six hundred those are in bad shape but like the widow one still would kind of do its job uh, and be scary in your yard. So I listed it at like 150 or 200. Same with the zombie one, which you can't really see. That one's like missing his shoes. And I can't really figure out how to get him put together, but I think someone could. So I listed him way lower than the comps too. Maybe they'll sell. Maybe it'll take a while, but you never know. Someone sent me an offer on the zombie for 50, but I paid like, paid like 30. So uh, the person I bought them from said they were tested. I kind of took that to mean that they were like in good shape. And yeah, tested. Yes, they do work, but shape is not good. They're in bad shape. Not very worn, so. I don't know how I just got off on that random side topic, but I guess I did. I guess it's because I was looking around trying to figure out where in the world I'm going to put my eBay pulls. You know what? I can put them on this table over here. That's what I'll do. Yeah, a really good day sourcing Friday and Saturday was meh. Went to the flea market, but because of the threat of rain, very few vendors showed up. Not even vendors. There was a lot of vendors, but very few like normies <laughs> show up, show, show up. Very few normies showed up uh, to sell stuff. Like it was all like expensive vendor stuff. Uh, we still, you know, even with a lot of expensive vendors, that's the thing with highway sales and flea markets, you can still do good. These vendors, a lot of times, get tons of inventory really quick and they need to move it. And they're okay with you making some profit. The good ones, at least, are okay with you as a seller making the profit, more of the profit, because uh, they, they're in a rush. So there's always good deals to be found. And we did get some good deals, for sure, but... Uh, not like normal at the flea market where you got a ton of good deals. Normally I'll fill like three wagons. This time I filled one, like really one, one and a half maybe. I sold this. This was a recent purchase at a yard sale. It's a power supply, 1,000 watt NZXT, I think it's the brand. Yeah. Uh, that was that sale where the lady like wanted me to comp stuff for her and tell her what it was worth before I bought it, which made it really hard. A lot of the commenters said I was crazy. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just had her name a price. Maybe I should have. That's an interesting thing. Like, because I'm sitting there, I'm comping it, and I'm saying, oh, yeah, I mean, I guess this would sell for this, so I'd give you this, right? Maybe I should have just been like, I don't know, your name and price, your name and price. But then my fear was she'd name a super high price for something like that power supply because it's brand new in the box. Anyways, when all was said and done, I think I convinced her to give it to me for 40, 30 or 40. And we sold it over on eBay for 107 plus shipping. So not like insane profits, but I was trying to like 3X everything I bought from her. And I kind of let her know that I said, I'm a reseller, I gotta make a profit. So I was like, you know, with this sort of thing, I could give you 40. I think I said 40 and I sell it for 100. So it wasn't like an amazing profit, but it was easy and it was brand new and I know it'll work. So that's a good thing. But yeah, if you watch that video and you know what I'm talking about, tell me what you would have done. Would you have told her what the values were? Would you have lied? Hmm. I didn't do that. I was honest with her about the values I found. But yeah, I don't know. I've seen some some resellers who are a little less scrupulous than I that might have done oh, dropping stuff might have done it a different way. But I figure honesty is the best policy. And so I just kind of told her I said, I'm a reseller. 
I'm trying to make a profit. This is what I can give you. <laughs> Take it or leave it. I just don't buy it if you can't do that price. I sold this. This is a golf club. This was in a $10 bin uh, at a yard sale. It's a Wilson Staff D100. I actually never buy Wilson. I In the video, which I don't know, it might have been already been released, I left it behind and then I looked it up in my car and I was like, all right, I'm going back to get that because it's actually worth a lot. And it was. $85 free ship on this one. It's a Wilson D100 12.0 Super Light. It weighs like nothing. And the shaft is pretty cool for you golfer people. It's got like all this writing on it and stuff. What's it say? Matrix Ozic. I think golfers will know what that is without me even showing it. So we'll move on. But yeah, 85 bucks for the golf club and 100 for that. Hey, you know what? That's two high dollar sales. That's exciting. I uh, also sold one of my last Walkmans, I think. I don't know. How can I get to it? <laughs> the whole entire row is blocked over there. So I think I can get to it from back here, hopefully. And it's just like one of those yellow. How many do I have left? Oh, I've got a few left. I've got three left. Probably like a super base one. I'm just kind of looking. I'm going to bring all three over because I don't know. Oh, I've got four. You know what? I'm going to bring all my Walkman over. Yeah. Bring them all over and we'll figure out which one it is. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of eBay listing. A lot of eBay listing. Listed a bunch of cool Fenton stuff I found on Friday. Listed some Trail of Painted Ponies. Is that what it's called? Not like a ton. I don't know. Like I've been listing every day. I think that's the important part. So I'm looking for an AF59 Walkman. Yeah, I found it. Haha. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put these other three back. But yeah, I think that's good. Like, despite all that's going on, how busy I've been, I am taking care of that one thing, which is listing. The Sports AF59 Walkman must be better than the rest. We can sell for a good amount of money, $61 plus ship. Uh, and I also sold this one, which is saying I'm late to shipping it, which is the real reason that I don't have operated anymore is my late shipments. And this is another one of those ones that got caught in the one day shipping trap that I didn't find. I thought I went in and changed them all to three day handling. But this one somehow was still on one day handling. And so now it's saying it's late. It was supposed to be shipped March 1st. $5.99 for this one plus shipping. So it's frustrating, but I might be losing some sales due to not being top rated. But I just, I don't know. I'm going to go in again today and I'm going to adjust it all and say uh, three day shipping. And hopefully it works this time because I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Uh, okay, so we got those two Walkman. I'm going to put those over there too. So that's like 100 bucks worth of Walkmans, the $100 power supply, and the $85 golf club. At least they're pretty high dollar sales. And the stuff I've been listing has all been pretty high dollar. I also listed a bunch of plush that were high dollar. I found a new kind of plush that I've never seen before it's right here. These are rare. Now the yellow, it depends on the color. Some colors are worth like over 100. This one's worth like 35. They're called, I think, whimsical. Wonder Whims, Wonder Whims. The pink one I got looks like it's closer to $60. So there's a little bolo for you, I bet. Rebel. Rebel resale is like, Dave, come on, everyone knows that. Also found a new Build-A-Bear bolo. Frogs, especially not green ones. The green ones aren't as much of a bolo. But if you see like a blue frog, these are big bolos. So it's like a $50 Build-A-Bear. So yeah, I'm informing. Every now and then, I add value. <laughs> Have you tried the new Coke uh, spiced drink? What are they doing over there at Coke, guys? I mean, they think, I mean, I'm drinking it because I bought the 12 pack and 12 packs now cost like eight bucks. Comment below. Someone's gonna comment below and say, Dave, the Coke spice is amazing, but it tastes like someone poured some potpourri into my Coca-Cola. That's that's what it feels like. Uh, so here's some of my Fenton. Check this out, this stuff's really cool. I think these kind of like glow under a black light, the squirrel and the rooster. Oh yeah, aren't those like really cool pieces? These are also bolos. If you don't know, I think most of you know this, but Fenton, like nice little animals from Fenton are better than like bells and stuff. This is the one that sold. I might have underpriced it because it sold like instantly. A little trouble because I couldn't find this exact one, but I did find similar ones from that artist. Anyways, I went for it. I uh, listed it for $44 and it sold pretty much right away. Did go to a repeat buyer. So maybe there's a viewer who's just watching my store and thought it was a good deal. So very, very pretty little cat. The Fenton cats are really awesome. And some of the Fenton cats can be worth like a hundred. I'm giving way too much information. I'm sorry, guys. I'm also going fast, kind of, because we're going to go to a hockey game today, and then we're headed over to the Webster area for the flea market, so I'm not going to be here tonight. So I'm trying to get everything done and edited before we leave town. Um, but yeah, that's cool. I mean, this was a Friday find. I listed it right away, and then another Friday find that I listed right away, I believe, is this B-52 model. I think this is the one that sold uh, again, maybe I'm underpricing stuff a little, but with how bad my store's been going uh, and my low sales, I'm kind of okay with underpricing if it gives me some sales. $29.99 plus shipping on this model. Mini craft model kits, brand new. Got that at the same sale I got the Fenton Cat at, so that was a good estate sale. Footage probably won't be very good because it was really dark in there. We got a lot of cool stuff, though. 
Ooh, sorry, I had to help carrying the groceries and it's raining out. Beautiful day. Got a cancellation order or request for this lid. I'm just gonna cancel it. I sold a Le Creuset lid for 20 bucks, but the person wants to cancel. <sighs> I lost my train of thought again. Someone come Anyways, yeah, a Le Creuset lid sold for 20 bucks, but the customer wants to cancel it. So it's not quite the right color. So whatever, that's fine. I will go ahead and cancel that. Let's see what else we got here. Got a couple more sales. Old Saybrook. I used to live near there. Old Saybrook, Connecticut. That's where we used to go get Pizza Hut. They had the Pizza Hut buffet when I was in high school. And uh, we would go like on half days. And we would go over to Old Saybrook and have Pizza Hut. I was, you know, memories, guys. Memories. I will tell you this, though. Like, what is it with memories? I, I want to... Okay, so I'm, I have a question for y'all with, with kids. Or who had kids. Maybe adult children. I'm telling you. Kids, like have a different memory of things that happen. Maybe this is a question for like a psychologist or something. But like every now and then my kids will like have this memory of something that happened like two years ago that I have a pretty clear recollection of. And their re their remembrance of it is so much different than mine that I'm like, are you like changing your memories? But here's my theory. Because kids have lived so few years, right? Like let's say you're 12, you've only lived 12 years of life. Something that's two years ago feels very far away from them and it might be easier for them to forget how something happened. Whereas with us, you know, we've been alive for 40 years almost. I have had so many years that, you know, two years ago was like yesterday to me. So I, I remember things, but it's interesting because there's things my kids will say like, oh, remember this happened? And me and Tina will be there like, that was two years ago. We remember that very clearly. That's not what happened. They will remember it different, but they won't. It's not like they, they all remember the same thing. They all have different versions of what happened. And I, I don't know. This is psychology 101, I guess. Who, who are my psychologists? Let me know. Why is it that kids remember things differently than adults? I bet it's my theory of it being recent to us and far away for them. Anyways, this lighthouse sold Old Saybrook, but what do I know? I Googled it and it says sometimes kids will change memories to kind of suit their identity and it builds their identity. So the memory will adjust a little bit to fit the identity they want to have. Old Saybrook, number 7910, uh, 1998. I like never see these Harbor Light lighthouses, by the way. $25 free shipping over on eBay. And it's funny because like, I look at all lighthouses now because those are decent, right? 25, 35, 40 bucks, a lot of them. Some of them 15 plus ship, but like, in general, they're decent. And so now I like look at every lighthouse and the vast majority of lighthouses I find are like cheap Dollar Tree type lighthouses. That's what's really out there in mass, which now it kind of makes sense why people are like, Dave, you shouldn't have bought lighthouses. It's because people are used to seeing garbage like that. That's not got no value. They don't, they didn't realize there's like brands that are actually good. Oh, look at this. I found this plush quick. I got to do something about my plush. I almost think I should do like a plush auction. The problem is all these plush are high dollar plush. Like I don't, I don't have any plush listed that are worth less than 15 bucks plus ship on eBay. And uh, I still have three stinking shelves worth of plush, high dollar plush. So I, I don't know. I feel like I need to find it. Maybe a new way to store them eh. or I could do a high dollar plush auction, but a lot of them are artisanal bears. I don't know if I told you, I got a hundred dollar offer on the giant polar bear that I didn't brush properly. I shot it down, but I was tempted to take it, honestly. <laughs> 100 bucks wouldn't have been bad. Would have been a nice uh, road to getting a profit off that buy. Uh, this one sold a, a poof a mow, F, F mow, me meow, meow, whatever. I'm not going to say it. These guys, these little laying down cats do good. Look for that that logo there, A-P-H-M-A-U. Uh, that one, I just got that, I think, in a bag at the thrift store. I sold it for 19 plus shipping. And I paid two fifty dollars for the bag, so. And I got a bunch of other plush that I sold on Whatnot. We did, like, mystery boxes, so. That was fun. <sighs> but yeah, ideally, I will get all this stuff shipped and packed before we leave. But I don't know, I'm running out of time. I got, like, an hour before we got to go, and I've got to edit this still. So we'll see. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll ship all these eBay orders Monday. I got to at least ship that uh, Walkman, because it's showing late right now. Hey, look at that. I sold a bobblehead. I was like excited about this bobblehead. I'm trying to see which one it is. It is CC Sabithia. I don't know who that is. I want to go to a baseball game. Ah, it's heavy. I don't think it's baseball season yet, though. Is it? When is baseball season? Yeah, I just dropped a bunch of stuff. It'd be fun to go to a baseball game. That's Evan Longoria. Is it, is he related to Ava Longoria? <laughs> uh, Carl. Hmm, where is it? Is it CC Sabatha? Sold this over on eBay for 25 bucks. Just a little bobblehead. Stadium giveaway, I think, from one of the games. $29.99, actually. Wait, did I do an offer? 
$22.94. Just kidding, it was an offer. $22.94 and plus shipping. Yeah, this is back in the free shipping days, so I really only get about 15 out of it. Still all right. I paid 20 for a big lot of these. Okay, so I did sell something. I made a, a bit of a mistake, and this is just a typical day of mistake, and hopefully I'm forgiven for it. But uh, I sold this King Kong. So I I was listing on Whatnot, and every now and then when I list on Whatnot, I like decide, you know, I'm going to list that on eBay instead, right? Because I know it's not going to do that good on Whatnot, and I need eBay listings to keep my store going. Uh, and that happened with this Kong. I was listing it. I was going to list it on Whatnot. I decided not to, and I listed it on eBay instead, speaking of my memory. I then, two days later, when Carrie is here, I'm running the Whatnot, and I see this guy sitting in the bag, and I was like, oh... So anyways, I see it in my bag, and I'm like, oh, let me add this. This is supposed to be part of the auction. I can't find it. I'm like looking in the auction, and I can't find it. And so I was like, oh, I'll just add it real time. So while we're doing the auction, I add it, and I sell it on Whatnot. And then, of course, right after the Whatnot auction ends, I get an eBay notification that someone just bought it on eBay, meaning I had shipped it on or listed it on eBay without realizing it or not remembering two days later. <laughs> Speaking of memory, um, $15 plus shipping now. Because the whatnot order wasn't even packed yet, uh, I went ahead and I just refunded. I actually literally put a $10 bill in the whatnot package and said, sorry about this. Uh, it sold on eBay, basically. So hopefully the buyer doesn't mind too much. Um, I did put the refund in there, but I sold it on eBay. Like, I honestly, might have sold on eBay while the whatnot auction was happening. It was that ridiculous, the timing, but I had my phone in Do Not Disturb. So... Uh, yeah, so we're going to ship that on eBay $14.99. Also, my account's not in good health. <laughs> I'm not even top rated anymore, so I really need to not cancel eBay orders. You know, it happens. But hopefully, uh, I did send a, a little note, handwritten note, so hopefully the person's okay with it. And if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> they might not be watching this, but I'm sorry. Uh, okay, another lighthouse sold. It's raining right now. We got lucky yesterday with no rain, and then it was supposed to rain Monday for the Webster, but now they're saying it's not going to rain Monday, so we're getting a little lucky with the rain now. I'm a little concerned about Georgia. We're driving all the way up there to do the Peaches to Beaches, uh, but it's now saying it might rain while we're in Georgia at the Peaches to Beaches. Now, if it's nice, in the eventuality, and I'm gonna bring my phone, if so then I can like look at it real time. In the eventuality that it's nice, if you go to the Peaches to Beaches, we're gonna try to do an auction from there on, I don't know what day, Thursday, Saturday, something like that. But, oh, I think I found it. Is this Georgia? Yeah. You know, we'll do it at Kevin's little weird trailer that he wanted to buy, even though it's overpriced. <laughs> Let's give Kevin a hard time for his trailer. Uh, but hey, you know, what? it'll be an interesting place to try to run a whatnot auction from. So our thought is maybe Saturday after we go garage selling, we run a whatnot for people who couldn't go to the, you know, if you're far away, let's say you're in Ohio, don't want to go to Georgia in the middle of the winter. Uh, you could attend the whatnot and see us running a whatnot. Or if you do come... You could literally just drive. Kevin's going to give out the address of the trailer, and you can just literally come hang out with us at the trailer, maybe run some of your items. Could be fun. So anyways, this sold. Cockspur Island in Georgia, $16.99. Free shipping, so that one was terrible. <laughs> Not going to make much off of that one. It's all right. But today, like I said, we're going to a hockey game in Jacksonville. Then I'm going to Walmart up there because Lost World Video Games, I think is his name. Uh, sent me a message and said the Walmart up there in Jacksonville, like St. Augustine's Jacksonville, has Fugglers. And so I want to go. There's like three Fugglers there that I don't have in my collection, and they're only seven bucks a piece. So I want to get them to add to my Fuggler collection, because I love my little Fuggler collection. Check it out. But for some reason, my Walmart has no Fugglers except for the Turtles, uh, which I already have the Turtles. And this guy, that inked picker made, the Dave Fuggler. <laughs> Definitely my favorite Fuggler. I mean, you guys agree, right? The the Dave Fuggler is the best Fuggler. Uh, okay, so we got everything pulled. Let's see, how much is that? Oh, did I sell anything on Posh and Mercari? I gotta look, hold on. That's 572 in sales on eBay. I get a lot of likes on Mercari. I don't know if I have any sales. My listings, sales in progress, sold, sold. Yeah, nothing on uh, Mercari either. So anyways, yeah, just the 500 on eBay sales. All right, guys. I thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Maybe I'll see you in one of these local events here soon. But if not, we'll be back in a couple days. Ah, bye-bye.